in Bern, and what I want to know a little bit about how you started in this not so easy business of being a jazz singer and a jazz pianist. How I started. Uh, I was influenced, I guess, around 12, 13 years of age by Earl Garner. By Earl Garner? Earl Garner, right. Did he, uh, was he an idol or he did you want to play a piano like that? Yeah. I used to play, I used to, by ear, I'd play his music note for note. You know, I was uh, at school, I was, they used to call me Earl Garner Queen <laughs> because I loved his music. Yes. You know, and I, he was the first uh, pianist that really kind of blew me away. Right. Yeah. And did you decide, did your parents decide you should take uh, a classical? Uh, yes, I was studying at four years old. Yeah, at four at years four, you started? Yes. And uh, jazz came into your life at 12. Yeah, around 12. What did your teachers okay. say to that? Well, there was no problem because I was very good with the classics, you know, that was my yes. love, you know. Uh, at the time I was studying Earl Garner, I was also studying Rachmaninoff and Davies, you know. So it didn't interfere, you know. And singing came later, or? Yes, yeah, singing. Uh, my parents didn't know that I was sneaking a gig, so to speak, right? Ah, so and your first jobs were secret. Yes. But they found out, you know. But in this, it was a lovely dining room, and there was an elderly gentleman who would come in every evening and have dinner. He'd tip his hat, have dinner alone, and go, you know. And this went on for about six weeks. It was getting close to Christmas. And then one night he came in, and he had a teddy bear as tall as I. Gorgeous, great big turquoise teddy bear. And he said, no, if you sing Melancholy Baby, teddy bear is yours. And I sang Melancholy Baby. <laughs> you still have the teddy bear? Oh, I kept it for years and years. It just got tired. <laughs> right. Uh, I know that you played, for example, with Miles Davis at the Village Wanger. No, I did not play with him. Uh, Miles heard my music, my first album, and he called. I was at my mother-in-law's home at the time, eating breakfast, and he called and this is Miles Davis, I want you to come to New York. I thought it was a friend of mine play, playing a joke, Making you know. A joke. So I thought about it. So, um, so I, I listened, I talked to him, and then I told my husband, you know one thing, maybe, maybe I should go to New York. So I left Virginia, went to Washington, which is my home, packed a bag and went to New York. And when I got to his house, to let me know it was all, all true, his kids were singing songs from my first album, you know. And then he insisted it was my, with um, Max Gordon that I play opposite him. Yes. So my trio played opposite Miles. Nice. Of course, I sat in some when I wasn't scared. You know? That's what I, I got I meant. my nerve. You know, I, I used to sit in Wynton Kelly, whom I loved dearly, used to make me play, and I was, I was real nervous. And, but it was fun, great fun, great experience. 